After a runway incident at Naval Air Station Fallon, Nevada, in 2018, an F-22 Raptor stealth fighter suffered significant damage as it skidded on its belly. It's now returned to operational status. The conclusion of a lengthy five-year restoration period denotes a significant milestone for the aircraft. The U.S. Air Force had initially aimed to restore the F-22 to flight readiness by spring 2022. The confirmation of the F-22 Raptor's return to flight came with the release of a series of photographs by the U.S. Department of Defense. These images showcased the aircraft, bearing the serial number 074146, completing a final set of tests conducted in April and May of this year. On May 4th, the aircraft, which is assigned to the 90th Fighter Squadron, 3rd Fighter Wing, stationed at Joint Base Almendorf-Richardson in Alaska, rejoined the operational fleet. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why so much effort has been put to restore a damaged F-22 Raptor. Let's get into the details. During a graduation exercise for the U.S. Navy's Top Gun Fighter Weapons School training program at Naval Air Station Fallon, the aforementioned Raptor encountered a runway incident in April 2018 where it skidded down the runway. The U.S. Air Force investigation determined that the incident involved aircraft 074146 was attributed partly to inaccurate takeoff and landing data, along with the variation in altitude between Fallon and Joint Base Elmendorf-Richardson. These factors, along with the fact that the pilot had retracted the aircraft's landing gear sooner than it should have been during takeoff, meant that there was insufficient lift to get the aircraft airborne, causing it to come back down on the runway without its gear positioned. F-22 Raptor is developed from the ground up to be stealthy. F-22 is the stealthiest fighter ever built and has a very low RCS, or radar cross-section, of only 0.0001 square meter. It achieves this due to its structural design, as well as the use of radar-absorbing materials, or RAM. So it's a very complex aircraft to repair, even if we consider just the external contours. Images of the restoration process in 2021 were released by the U.S. Air Force. At Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson, the labor intensive repair work on the Raptor was underway, revealing the exposed inner components of the aircraft. As evident, a lot of effort has been put in. The exact cost of restoring 074146 remains undisclosed. It's likely that the U.S. Air Force encountered significant challenges, particularly in sourcing the necessary parts for an aircraft that's no longer in production. This incident is not an isolated occurrence. In 2012, another F-22 experienced a similar mishap, skidding down the runway on its belly at Tyndall Air Force Base. The repair cost for that particular aircraft was estimated at $35 million and the restoration process took six years to complete. In the various images taken on May 4th, it's clear that the functional checks were carried out on the F-22 at Joint Base Almendorf-Richardson. Functional check flights are commonly conducted following extensive maintenance periods to verify the aircraft's operational performance and ensure that it meets the required standards. In the coming days, the U.S. Air Force has plans to replace its F-22s with a new sixth-generation stealth combat jet as part of the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, program. The service is actively pursuing the acquisition of 200 Next Generation Air Dominance stealth combat jets as part of this initiative. Despite this plan, the F-22 continues to be a pivotal aircraft within the inventory of the United States Air Force. It has received ongoing upgrades and enhancements in recent years, solidifying its status as a centerpiece of the U.S. Air Force's arsenal. For example, it's been updated with Link-16, 
with Link-16, military aircraft, as well as ships and ground forces, can exchange their tactical picture in near real time. Link-16 also supports the exchange of text messages, imagery data, and provides two channels of digital voice, 2.4 kilobits and or 16 kilobits in any combination. The restoration of this aircraft holds broader significance within the context of the service's F-22 fleet, which consists of approximately 180 airframes, of which only 125 of these aircraft are currently combat capable. It's to be noted in this regard that the F-22 Raptor remains the most potent operational fighter jet not only in the US Air Force but also in the world. So even one is significant. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.